Today, we're going to be learning about a method that will allow us to evaluate the sum of a finite geometric series even if we forgot the formula for it. Now this method actually ends up being much simpler than the formula itself, so let's take a look. So over here, we have a geometric series that goes 1 plus 2 plus 4 all the way to plus 1024, where we are multiplying by 2 each time to get to the next term. So to find the sum, we're going to start off by calling the whole thing s. So from now on, whenever I say s, I am really referring to all of this over here. Now let's take s and let's multiply it by 2 to get 2s. And when we do that, we're going to get another series that goes 2 plus 4 plus all the way to 1024 plus 2048. And you can see something really interesting is going on over here. When we took s and multiplied it by 2 to get a new series, we see that this new series actually has a bunch of common terms with s. 2, 4, all the way to 1024, well, that also appears in our original series s. So now, let's take the difference between these two series. Let's take 2s and subtract s. We're going to see that something really cool ends up happening. So 2s minus s on this side, we have just s. And now we see 2 minus 2, 0, 4, minus 4, that is also 0, 1024 minus 1024, that is also 0. So everything in the middle ends up canceling with each other. So the only two terms that really matter in this case are 2048 and 1. And since we're subtracting the two series, we find that s ends up being 2048 minus 1, which is 2047. So as you can see, absolutely no formulas were involved, and we still managed to find the answer. So now, we have another geometric series that goes 9 plus 3 plus 1 plus 1 over 3 all the way to plus 1 over 729. And we're asked to find the sum of the whole thing. So we're going to do the same thing. Let's start off by calling this whole thing S. And the goal is to find a new series. But what should that new series be? Well, to get from 9 to 3, we multiply by 1 over 3. To get from 3 to 1, we multiply by 1 over 3. So the common ratio of s is actually 1 over 3. So our new series is going to be 1 third of s. Because just like the last problem, what we end up getting is a series that goes 3 plus 1 plus 1 over 3 all the way to 1 over 729. And then we get that one extra term, which is 1 over 729 times 1 over 3 which is 1 over 
2187. And from here, we have the really familiar setup. Everything here goes away if we subtract the two series. So we're going to take s and subtract 1 thirds s. And what that leaves us is 2 thirds s equals 9 minus 0. That's just 9. But this time, 3 minus 3 is 0. 1 minus 1, 0. 1 over 3 minus 1 over 3, 0. So everything is 0 up to 1 over 729 minus 1 over 729. That is also 0. And we're just left with this term at the end over here. But remember, this is 2 thirds s, and we want s on its own. So the answer that we are really looking for is 3 over 2 times this entire expression. And once you do that, you'll find that s equals 9,000. 841 over 729. And once again, no formulas were involved at all. We used the same method to evaluate a geometric series with a common ratio less than one this time. But now that we've seen two problems using the same method, let's see if we can generalize and find a formula.